Hello, I'm Crypto Casey. In this video, we are going to check out BC Vault, a cryptocurrency hardware wallet with many unique features currently unavailable on other devices. We will explore everything that BC Vault has to offer and compare it with other devices like Ledger and Trezor. Then we will unbox BC Vault, set up the device together, and transfer some cryptocurrency to and from it. Feel free to use the time-stamped table of contents in the description area below to hop around different sections of this video. If you are interested in buying a BC Vault to store your cryptocurrency after watching this video, make sure you scroll down to the description area below and click on the link provided to ensure you access the correct site safely and securely. Never buy a used cryptocurrency wallet and never buy a cryptocurrency wallet from a site other than the official one using the link below to avoid getting a hacked device. Also, stick around for the end of this video for a fun surprise. Okay, let's check out BC Vault. BC Vault was created by a company based in Slovenia called Real Security that specializes in cybersecurity products and services. To support the growing cryptocurrency market, Real Security set out to create not just another hardware wallet, but a truly secure, easy to use cryptocurrency vault. As we go through this video, we will cover the differences between cryptocurrency wallets like Ledger and Trezor devices versus the unique features the team at Real Security built into the BC Vault. BC Vault is unlike any other cryptocurrency hardware device on the market right now. So we will be getting into some very interesting and technical information. I've broken down the technical features into simple concepts to make it easy for everyone to follow. You will probably end up learning more than you ever wanted to know about cryptocurrency hardware wallet technology. So here are the nine features we will cover about BC Vault. One, display and directional pad. Two, proprietary tech over open source. Three, one app for all cryptocurrencies. Four, private key generation. Five, private key storage. Six, complete anonymity. Seven, encrypted backups. Eight, pins and passwords. Nine, the bounty wallet. So let's get started. Feature number one, display and directional pad. First, let's check out BC Vault's display and directional pad. One of the major challenges many people face, especially beginners, when managing cryptocurrency is unknowingly making a simple, irreversible mistake, like sending cryptocurrency to the wrong address. Most of the hardware wallets on the market have small screens that don't show the user a lot of information. The team at Real Security realized many of these mistakes can be avoided by providing all of the information to the user on a larger screen. So BC Vault features a 2.42 inch OLED 128 by 64 pixel display that's able to show all of the important transaction details on the screen to protect the user from error. The display shows the full sender and recipient addresses, the wallet name, amount of cryptocurrency and fees, including warnings about unusually high transfer fees. BC Vault also features a four-way directional pad that enables easy navigation and improved response for users. Feature number two, proprietary tech over open source. Unlike many of its competitors, BC Vault does not use open source policies. Instead, they use their own proprietary technology. Ledger and Trezor wallets have open source policies and hackers have exploited their vulnerabilities by creating fake clones and so forth. The team at Real Security believe that open source is overrated and just means exploitation will be discovered sooner and usually not by hackers trying to enhance or help the technology. Feature number three, one app for all cryptocurrencies. Probably one of the best features of this wallet, if you have a wide variety of cryptocurrencies, is that BC Vault offers native support for all of its supported cryptocurrencies in one single application. While Ledger and Trezor rely heavily on third-party software applications for most of the cryptocurrencies they support, BC Vault supports all of its crypto on one software application and is the first device to support native storage for all ERC-20 tokens, of which more than 200,000 exist today. This also includes seamless use of SegWit and legacy addresses within each Bitcoin wallet, and the Bitcoin Cash wallet can switch between the legacy address format and the new cash address format as well. Feature number four, private key generation. Let's talk about how private keys are generated. Devices like Ledger, Trezor, and similar use what's called the BIP 32, 39, and 44 standard. Let's go through what a BIP is and what BIP 32, 39, and 44 specifically represent so we can understand how devices like Ledger and Trezor generate private keys. So first, BIP stands for Bitcoin Improvement Proposal. Since Bitcoin has no formal governing structure or central control group, a BIP or Bitcoin Improvement Proposal 
is a process that was created as a way for people to contribute information about Bitcoin or introduce new features to the Bitcoin protocol. There are three types of Bitcoin improvement proposals. One, standards track BIPs, which involve making changes to the network protocol or validation methods. Two, informational BIPs, which are general guidelines or knowledge about Bitcoin. And three, process BIPs, which outline proposed process changes for the protocol. The community can review Bitcoin improvement proposals and then select BIPs go through an exception reduction consensus cycle, where they ultimately get implemented, become obsolete, withdrawn, or similar. The first BIP is known as BIP0001, which basically just describes what a Bitcoin improvement proposal is and how they should be used. BIP32 describes the private key creation and transfer protocol for hierarchical deterministic wallets. Wow, what the heck does that mean? Let's break this down. Think of a cryptocurrency wallet as your bank account and the seed of your wallet as the login credentials to your bank account. Finally, think of your account numbers as private keys. So imagine going to your bank's website and logging into your bank account with your credentials. Once you're logged in, imagine looking at all of your different accounts. Let's pretend you have a couple different accounts, like a personal checking account, a business checking account, and a personal savings account. Each of these different accounts with your bank are all linked to you and can be accessed with your online bank login credentials. And as with most modern online banking sites, when you're logged in, you're able to view all of your accounts and transfer funds to and from your own accounts as well as outside bank accounts. Simple enough concept, right? Now let's apply this concept to hierarchical, deterministic cryptocurrency wallets to understand what it means. Hierarchical simply describes the relationship of the seed to the other private keys that are created to access your cryptocurrencies. So using our analogy, your online banking credentials or your seed will give you access to create, view, and manage your accounts or private keys. In our example, we are pretending you have three separate accounts with this particular bank. So your one username and password is giving you access to three separate accounts that you have. This is similar to what the word hierarchical means. Hierarchical describes the parent-child relationship each private key has with one wallet seed. Cryptocurrency wallets can have multiple private keys that access different cryptocurrencies, and each cryptocurrency wallet has one seed. This seed can be used to access all of your private keys. The same is how your online banking credentials give you access to the multiple accounts you have with that one bank. Deterministic refers to the nature of the algorithm wallets use to generate private keys. Deterministic algorithms create private keys that can all be traced back to their parent seed. So let's put this all together. Hierarchical deterministic wallets are simply cryptocurrency wallets that use deterministic algorithms to create private keys. Private keys created this way can be traced back to their parent seed. So back to the BIPs. BIP39 describes the implementation of the mnemonic code or the generation of a group of random words that get converted to a binary seed for deterministic wallets, while BIP44 defines a logical hierarchy for deterministic wallets. So many cryptocurrency hardware devices use BIP32, 39, and 44 standard to generate deterministic wallets. Now, let's talk about BC Vault. BC Vault generates non-deterministic wallets instead of deterministic wallets. Basically, BC Vault acts as a true random number generator, or RNG, and uses non-deterministic algorithms to create private keys. So instead of the wallet seed having a parent-child relationship with each private key, BC Vault's wallet seed has no traceable relationship with any of the private keys it generates. This means that none of the private keys generated on your BC Vault could ever be traced back to your BC Vault seed. BC Vault is able to generate over 2,000 individual non-deterministic wallets. Every private key generated is completely independent of one another, which means that no two private keys in your BC Vault can be mathematically linked. So if your wallet or any private keys get compromised, they cannot be traced back to any of the other private keys on your device or your wallet seed. By comparison, most of the other cryptocurrency wallets use deterministic wallets, which means that any compromised private key can be traced back to your seed, thereby exposing all of your wallet's private keys due to the parent-child relationship the private keys have with your seed. Feature number five, private key storage. BC Vault's private keys are stored in FRAM. FRAM stands for Ferroelectric Random Access Memory. It basically functions the same as flash memory, but has a thousand times faster throughput while consuming 250 times less power than flash. The chip BC Vault uses 
prevents the wallet from exposure to potential malware on connected devices like your computer. And it also guarantees reliable data storage for over 200 years at 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Feature number six, anonymity. As we discussed previously, all of the different cryptocurrency wallets on most mainstream hardware devices, like your Bitcoin wallet versus Ethereum wallet, can be traced back to one seed phrase, and the companies that sell these devices are able to track and link users to their devices. Most hardware wallet companies also have the capacity to track devices due to the unique private key sent to their hardware security module every time the device is used. Also, secure chips in most hardware wallets have serial numbers that are used to check the authenticity of the devices, which could also be linked to users by their shipping address when ordering the device. BC Vault combats these issues by complete anonymity. The device has no serial number and the company doesn't track any data that would link a device to its user. Feature number seven, encrypted seed backups. BC Vault has advanced seed protection protocols. Most cryptocurrency hardware wallets encrypt the private keys and protect the private keys with a password. However, the same hardware wallets generate an unencrypted seed recovery phrase for the user to store on a few pieces of paper. So even though the private keys that access your cryptocurrency are encrypted, the seed or recovery phrase that can be used to gain access to all of your private keys on a new device is not encrypted. Doesn't really make much sense. In addition, the 24 word recovery phrase is merely written on a few sheets of paper without detailed instructions on where or how to store them to prevent accidental loss or destruction. There are solutions on the market like CryptoSteel that engrave your recovery phrases on element resistant metal plates that can withstand water and fire. However, what many cryptocurrency hardware wallet manufacturers don't tell you is that the expense doubles when acquiring a separate device for a safe seed storage. Trezor offers CryptoSteel at a reduced price in a bundle with their wallet devices, while many other companies just offer paper to store your seed. Even so, the fact remains that the seed or recovery phrase itself is still unencrypted. With BC Vault, your backups are encrypted by default. At the time of this video, BC Vault is the only available long-term storage device that enables users to encrypt backups. So instead of having a single unencrypted recovery seed, each wallet can be backed up individually on an unlimited number of secure memory cards or in the form of printed QR codes. Each BC Vault device comes with a one gigabyte micro SD card for backups. The best part? Since the backups are encrypted, you can print out as many backups as you want and give them to your friends and family. Feature number eight, pins and passwords. When using a device like Ledger, there's a password to access the computer application, a pin code to unlock your device, and if you have any cryptocurrency that uses third-party software, that likely requires a password as well. That's it. With that, you would be able to transfer all of your cryptocurrency whenever you want. Now let's check out BC Vault. The computer application allows for a password, and this password can be an unlimited number of characters. Next, the device allows for a pin that's entered on the device's directional pad and can be in any directional sequence. For example, up, down, right, left would be four different directions. Once the device is unlocked, it's just that, unlocked. When you navigate to any one of the cryptocurrency wallets on the device, the computer application allows for a password per wallet and the device allows for a pin code for each wallet. This means if you enable all of BC Vault's password capabilities, you would need to input up to four different codes to authorize a transaction. This allows a single BC Vault device to be used among friends and family, where all users know the computer application password and device PIN while having their own separate wallet, passwords, and PIN codes to access individually. BC Vault can generate more than 2,000 wallets, so each user can have their own different codes to access their own private wallets. This is a conceptual multi-signature feature. Other real multi-signature solutions include buying a device per friend or family member, which would be very expensive. Or if you would rather live life on the edge, you can choose to not use any passwords at all. This means BC Vault offers the possibility of having anything from zero to four codes to confirm transactions, and each wallet can be configured differently. Feature number nine, Bounty Wallet. One of my favorite things about this wallet is every BC Vault device comes preloaded with a private key that corresponds to a public address containing a little over one whole Bitcoin, which at the time of this video is worth about $10,000. The team at Real Security calls this a bounty wallet, and they encourage users to perform black box security testing on BC Vault devices. Anyone who is able to breach their bulletproof encryption can take the Bitcoin as a prize. So far, no one's been able to do it. 
BC Vault has some pretty interesting features. If you are interested in buying a BC Vault to store cryptocurrency, make sure you scroll down to the description area below and click on the link provided to ensure you access the correct site safely and securely. Remember, never buy a used cryptocurrency wallet and never buy a cryptocurrency wallet from a site other than the official one using the link below to avoid getting a hacked device. Okay, now let's unbox BC Vault, set up the device and transfer some cryptocurrency to and from it. To buy a BC Vault, scroll down to the description area below and click on the link provided to ensure you access the correct site safely. Bookmark the page and access it that way going forward so you never become a victim of a phishing site. From there, you can add however many devices you want to your cart and proceed with shipping and payment details. This is the box BC Vault comes in. Let's remove the plastic and take a look. On the back, you can see some of their features listed. On the sides here, you will notice some holographic stickers. When you slide the box out, make sure the holographic stickers are completely intact and untampered with to ensure the device is safe. Inside the box, you will see a piece of paper with an invitation to their affiliate program. And on the back side, you'll see a message with instructions on how to start using the device. Next, here is the BC Vault device. Ensure the holographic sticker on the side is intact. There's a USB cord we will use to connect the BC Vault device to the computer. Here's some BC Vault stickers you can use if you wish. And finally, there's a webcam protector. Let's open it up and install it on a laptop. Here are the instructions we will use to set up the BC Vault device. Let's set it up now. Remove the protective plastic from the front of the device. Then carefully remove the holographic sticker. You will see a micro SD slot. Press carefully into the slot to click and remove the micro SD chip. Looks good, so let's put it back into the device. Just for your reference, here is how the BC Vault device compares in size to a Trezor 1, a Ledger Nano X, and a Ledger Nano S. Cool, let's set this thing up. Next, plug the USB cable into your computer and the BC Vault device. You will see some instructions to shake the device. Here is where you will see BC Vault's true random number generation at work. BC Vault's algorithm uses random shaking motions unique to each instance and individual to create the wallet's encrypted seed. As you can see, this process is a lot less time consuming than going through the 24 randomly generated words and copying them onto several sheets of paper. This process creates a safer, more secure seed and it's kind of fun. All done. Your encrypted seed has been generated. Next, go to your internet browser and go to https colon forward slash forward slash www.bc-vault.com forward slash first. Then scroll down to step three and click download. You will see options to download applications for OS X, Windows, and Linux. Choose the app for your computer's operating system and click on it to start the download. Choose a folder to save the installation file in. When the download is complete, open the installation file and click continue. Read through the software license agreement, then click continue. Click agree. Next, click install. Enter any credentials you need to complete the install. Once the installation is complete, click close. You can then move your installation file to the trash bin if you wish. BC Vault may request access to your computer camera in order to scan QR codes. Click OK. When you open the BC Vault software, you will see a welcome screen. Read through it and click Next. Read through the security screen and click Next. You will be prompted to create a password in order to open and access this computer application. Create a long, strong, secure password and write it down in a paper notebook backups. Store these in a safe place so you never lose access to the funds on your wallet. If you lose any of your passwords to this device, you will not be able to recover your funds. Remember that you can also choose not to use any passwords on this wallet. In this video, we will set up all the passwords and pins available so you can see all of BC Vault's features. Once you've entered and confirmed the password, click Confirm. Next, you will see a notification asking you to create a pin using the directional pad on the BC Vault device. On the device, choose a strong, secure combination of directions like up, down, left, and right to establish a pin code. Then press the center button to confirm. Repeat the pin code and press the center button again to confirm. 
you will see a screen that reads encrypting storage, please wait. When the progress bar is complete, you will see a message that says operation finished, please disconnect and reconnect the device. On your computer screen, you will see a success message saying the pin change was successful. Click OK on your computer, then unplug and replug in the device to your computer. On your computer, type in the password you created to access the computer application. Next, you will be prompted to enter the pin you created on the device. Awesome! Now you're logged in to the BC Vault computer application. You may receive a message that there's an update available for the firmware of the device. Click Confirm. Another message will pop up, making sure your device has been backed up before proceeding. Since this is a brand new device with no funds, a backup isn't necessary, so click Confirm. In the future, going forward, when there is an update, you will need to ensure your device has been backed up before performing the update. If you missed the update notification when logging in, you can click on the Settings button in the top right corner and click Update Software in the Application Settings section. Since we just downloaded the software, it should be up to date. So click Update Firmware in the Device Settings section to update the device's firmware. You can read details about the update in the notification window and then click Confirm. You will see a notification about backing up your device before proceeding. Since this is a new device without any funds, you can click Confirm. On the BC Vault device, you will be prompted to confirm the firmware upgrade by pressing the right arrow button and then the center button. There will be a message stating BC Vault is upgrading firmware, please wait. Once the progress bar reaches 100%, you will see a message stating update successful, confirm reboot. Press the right arrow button and then the center button to confirm. On your computer screen, you will see a message that says your device is now updated. Awesome, the operation is finished. You will need to disconnect and reconnect the device to your computer. Once you reconnect the device, you will be able to enter the password you created to open the computer application. Then you will need to enter the pin code you created on the device. Nice, your device is ready to go. Let's add a wallet and transfer some cryptocurrency to it. Click Add New Wallet, and from the Choose Currency dropdown, you will see all of the supported cryptocurrencies. Note that if you click on the Settings button in the top right corner, then click Show Hide Currencies, you can modify this list when creating wallets. Let's create a Bitcoin wallet first. Enter a name for the wallet and create a password for it. Next, you will be prompted to set up a pin for the new wallet on the device. Create a pin and confirm it. Awesome, your new wallet has been created. Click OK to continue. You will be brought to the Bitcoin section of the computer application. Here you will see two wallets, the one we just created and the bounty wallet we discussed earlier. Next, let's transfer some Bitcoin to our new Bitcoin wallet by clicking on the Receive button. A window will open up with your full address and QR code. Note you can choose the address type, either SegWit or Legacy, SegWit being the most common nowadays. Let's transfer some Bitcoin from the Coinbase Exchange to our new Bitcoin wallet on the BC Vault device. If you don't have a Coinbase account, scroll down to the description area below and use my referral link to receive $10 worth of Bitcoin for free when you invest more than $100 in cryptocurrency. On your smartphone, open the Coinbase app and navigate to your Bitcoin wallet. Tap on the send arrow icon in the top right corner to send Bitcoin. Enter the amount you wish to send, then tap next. On the next screen, tap on the QR code icon in the top right corner and hold your phone to your computer screen as if you're taking a picture of the BC Vault QR code. The address will automatically paste into the Coinbase 2 field. Type out anything you want in the notes field, then tap next. Review the transaction and then tap confirm send. Awesome, now you can tap the pending transaction to view the details again. After a minute or so, you will see the pending Bitcoin transaction on the BC Vault computer application. You can click View All Transactions to see a list of your transaction history and then click on the transaction to view more details. Now that we are funding the wallet, we need to configure a backup for the device. Click on Settings in the top right corner and click Backup Device in the Device Settings section. You will be able to choose between two types of backups, a backup to the microSD card inside the BC Vault device, or you can choose to print a series of QR codes to store in a secure location like a fireproof safe or a safety deposit box at the bank. First, let's back up your encrypted wallet data to the microSD card. Make sure your BC Vault has the microSD card inserted before proceeding, then click Backup. 
Choose a name for your backup and click Confirm. Next, on your device, tap the right arrow button and then the center button to confirm the creation of the backup to the micro SD card. A message will pop up stating, creating backup, please wait. Once the backup is complete, a notification on your computer will show up stating backup successful. Awesome, click OK. Let's click on the backup device option again and create a QR code backup. On your device, tap the right arrow button and then the center button to confirm the creation of a QR code backup. A print window will pop up on your computer. Adjust your print settings if you need to and then click print. A page similar to this with all of your backup information will be printed. Store this as well as all of your passwords and pin codes in a safe location in case you ever need to restore your wallet using this QR code backup. Nice, let's log back into the BC Vault computer app. On the main screen, you can see the total amount of funds in the wallet from the transfer we made from Coinbase. Let's transfer the Bitcoin from the wallet back to the exchange where we can sell for fiat or swap for another cryptocurrency. Click on the Bitcoin button. Then click on the send button for the corresponding Bitcoin wallet. I'm going to paste my Coinbase Bitcoin wallet address into the send to field. Next, you can enter the amount of Bitcoin you want or you can choose to send all. Below that, you can choose the sliding button to choose your transaction fees. The higher the fees, the faster the transaction. Once everything looks good, click send. You will be prompted to enter the password you created for the Bitcoin wallet, then click send. Next, you will need to confirm the transaction details on your BC Vault device. Use the down arrow to scroll through the transaction details. You will see the from address, the wallet name, the to address, the amount, the type of currency, and the fees. If everything looks good, tap the right arrow and then the sensor button to confirm. As a final step, you will need to enter the unique pin code you created for the corresponding Bitcoin wallet, then tap confirm. On your computer, you should see a success message. Awesome, now your Bitcoin is on the way back to the exchange. Click OK to continue. Click on the home button in the top right corner. You will see the Bitcoin button where all of your Bitcoin wallets will reside. Let's create another wallet for Ethereum. Click add new wallet and select Ethereum from the drop down menu. Give the wallet a name and enter a unique, secure password for it, then click Add New Vault. On your device, you will be prompted to create a PIN code for the new wallet. Enter a PIN and click Confirm. Cool, your Ethereum wallet is ready to go. Click OK. The Ethereum page will open automatically and show you your recently created Ethereum wallet. Using the Receive button, you can easily email, print, or download your Ethereum address to receive funds. To add more Ethereum wallets, you can simply click Add New Wallet in the top left corner, give it a name, and create another password and PIN code for it. You can also import wallets using the Import button. Be careful as it's much safer to simply transfer cryptocurrency to the corresponding wallet on your BC Vault device than to import an existing wallet that may not be secure. Click Cancel to continue. In the top right corner, you will now see both Bitcoin and Ethereum buttons to navigate between your BTC and ETH wallets. If you click more, you will be able to create more wallets for different cryptocurrencies. Okay, next, let's do a quick overview of some of the settings available on the BC Vault application. On the settings menu, these are all of the different options available to you. In the application settings section, preferences allows you to show or hide cryptocurrencies with no funds, check for automatic updates, enable advanced mode, change fiat currency, and more. Make sure you enable advanced mode so you are able to interact with the add modify ERC20 tokens. Here you can add new custom ERC20 tokens to store on your BC Vault. Under device settings, click on preferences to change the name of your device. You can change the global pin you created to access the device here. You can back up a device or restore a device here. You can also click on the help button in the top right corner to access the support portal. Awesome, so the BC Vault is a pretty cool hardware wallet. Is it the right wallet for you? Let's go over a couple of the cons and my thoughts about whether or not this is the right wallet for you. The price of the VC Vault is pretty high compared to other devices, coming in at a little over 130 euro plus VAT. The shell of the device is a little low quality. You can hear me tapping on the plastic shell in this clip just to give you an idea of how it feels. 
Does it replace Ledger or other wallet devices? Not necessarily. If you hold a large amount of different cryptocurrencies for long periods of time, this wallet is a great asset to invest in. If you actively trade and send cryptocurrency a lot, you may need more convenience that the Ledger Nano X provides with its Bluetooth and mobile device interface. If you both hold and trade cryptocurrency, I think BC Vault is a great asset to have to hold your large, long-term cryptocurrency investments. All right, now it's time for the fun surprise. One lucky viewer has the chance to win a free BC Vault device. To be eligible to win, you need to do three simple things. First, subscribe to my channel, Crypto Casey, here on YouTube. Two, like this video, and three, let me know in the comments below what you think about BC Vault. A winner will be randomly chosen on Halloween night, October 31st. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. So what do you guys think about BC Vault? Is it a hardware wallet you would consider storing your cryptocurrency on? Let me know in the comments below. Be safe out there.